Hi, my name is Monica Burns. I'm an EdTech and Curriculum Consultant, founder of ClassTechTips.com, and a webinar host for Simple K-12. I want to share a tip with you today on how to create templates in uh, Google Slides. So I'm logged into my Google Drive here. I'm going to hit New and I'm going to create a Google Slide um, document. So Google Slides are a presentation tool, um, really friendly, accessible on the web. Um, one of my favorites, um, it's something that's great to use with students, whether you're in a Google Classroom environment or you are in a um, classroom where you're using um, a wide range of devices. So I can go ahead and I can choose from different themes to get me started. I love this um, beach day theme with that kind of whimsical um, text at the top, and I'm going to go ahead and close this. The idea with a template is that I'm making something my students can then open up and make their own. So I'm going to go ahead and start with my title. So this is um, a book report and so I'm going to have students put book title here. Um, then the subtitle will be student name down here at the bottom. So this is what I want everyone uh, to do when they have their first slide. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make a new slide that's going to pop up after this. And this is going to be their introduction slide. So this is when they're going to give me, again, the title of the book. Underneath it, I want them to put the author, genre, and one um, fun fact to get the reader excited. After I've put in my first um, slide there, I can then decide how I want this to be formatted. So I want, might want my students to start off um, with a summary of the book, and this will be something where I want them to use three to five sentences. Um, then I'm going to go ahead and ask them to put in um, something about the characters. So focus on main character with two details, um, and then I might say something about the supporting characters. Of course, it depends on your expectations, how details um, you will be here with your expectations for students, text evidence, all those pieces. Um, the idea here is that we're creating a template um, for them to work off of. So as I finish this one here, I've now created something that I would add on to a little bit more, um, but I have my basic template for students. I'm going to go to File here and share this. But before I share it, it's going to prompt me with a title. It's going to take the title off the slide. So this is going to be my book report template. And I'm going to save this. You'll see it changed up here. Now I can decide to share this with students. Now I do not want them to have one that they are going to be able to edit. I want them only to view it. So when I send them this, they're going to open it up. They won't be able to make any changes. Um, they'll see it in view only mode. And when that happens, they're able to go to the top go to file and make a copy. That way you're able to make a template, you're able to share it with your students, and they can make a copy to make it their own.